Welcome r slash nuclear revenge. Man makes me endure 12 hours of pain. I destroyed his career. I destroyed a man's career for making me needlessly endure 12 hours of constant pain. In my teens, I had to have numerous operations. Therefore, I always ended up at one particular hospital that specialized in my condition. Now, the hospital was high quality, with staff that was very caring, and looked out for the patients they had. They gave you essentially the 5 star treatment. After all, they were charging our insurance an incredible amount of money, so that probably had something to do with it. But one particular operation I had, it all went to heck. It wasn't like this type of procedure wasn't something I had not done in the past, it was about the third time I needed to have it done. No pressure whatsoever. Essentially it entailed breaking both your legs, placing rods into them to put them back into the proper place, so they would end up growing correctly. They would be in for a few months to heal, and then they were taken out. During that time, I would have to turn small little handles to reposition my bones according to a preprinted out schedule, given to me by my doctor. It hurt like hell, but it was worth it in the end. Despite how often I had done it, it was still extremely painful, especially for the first few weeks after the procedure was done. Any vibrations would send shockwaves of pain throughout your entire body regardless on how doped up you were on painkillers. So the doctors took extra care to ensure that any trip back home was as smooth as possible. Literally. They all understood that without a jet back to your home city, for anyone more than 40 minutes away from the hospital, it was medically required that you travel back home in a med jet. Imagine every single bump you experience when driving for any period of time. Now imagine being sent into shockwaves of 10 tenths pain every single time you went over that bump point you get the idea. Now, most hospitals offer individuals a liaison to individuals within the hospital to deal with their insurance. Just have that individual talk to the doctor, and right away they would work out what the doctor wanted with the company, no hassle. We didn't take up that offer, because we understood how everything worked, and it was never an issue. But, the hospital always offered us one anyway. And yes, these liaisons were not employees of the insurance company, but of the hospital. They were designed to look after the best interests of the patients, and justify it to the insurance company. Thinner designated liaison decided that our request to not have one was unacceptable, and thus he would intentionally intervene at every change he could. He even went as far as to deny our nurse requests for extra pillows, because the hospital only allows 10th number of pillows a person, despite the nurse literally stating it was fine. But nope, since he was at a higher level he apparently had final say. When it was nearing our time to leave the hospital, like always, the doctor wanted to bill the insurance for the medical jet, because it was medically required. Same old same old. However a jackass liaison disagreed with the doctor's assessment that it was medically required, justifying his opinion based upon our insurance's company's definition of medically required. Naturally, the doctor flipped his lid and verbally curb stomped the idiot. Liaison, listen, simply avoiding pain ice and something that the insurance will cover. It's not medically required to avoid pain. Doctor, are you kidding me? You realize this patient would have to drive 12 hours in a cramped ambulance with two broken legs in excruciating pain if they didn't fly? It's absolutely unheard of. You literally would have to have two EMTs escort them back home just in case anything happened. The cost is only marginally smaller than the damn jet. Plus, there is a small chance the rods could become disrupted if anything happens in the car. That's the justification. Liaison. The odds of any crash happening are not high enough for the company to justify it. This would hurt the company if they keep doing this. Doctor, listen, I don't know why on God's green earth you are even arguing with me. This isn't fucking up to you. You are not a doctor, you have no medical training. You were given a goddamn list of the insurance company's policies, and now you think you can properly diagnose what is or is not medically required? I've done this for thousands of patients with this very company. Now get your ass back to your office, bill the fucking insurance company properly, and shut the hell up. You work for us, not for them. I was in earshot of this entire conversion. A week later and the day of departure point we learned what happened when he went back to his office. 
he had called the insurance company and began going through the proper channels to get the jet approved point however he began dropping small hints to the rep that in his opinion driving would also be fine point so naturally on the day before our departure point we got a call from the insurance company denying the request i was furious there wasn't time to appeal the decision there wasn't anything any of us could do even my doctor was stuck because the liaison worked for a different department and he couldn't even fire the guy. He apologized time and time again and ensured the 12 hour ambulance ride would be as comfortable as possible and even told the driver to keep me as medicated as possible to ensure it went well. Naturally point it did nothing and it was the most hellish 12 hour experience of my life. I was screaming the point entire 12 point hours. The ambulance wasn't even outfitted with a bed, it only had some type of hammock type thing. Two EMTs had to endure non-stop screaming from someone who didn't even belong in the ambulance in the first place. Everyone was furious. Everyone blamed that one man. Everyone wanted him fired, but they had no medical reason to fire him, because according to the union's policies, he technically did what he was supposed to do. The only way for him to be let go was for him to have caused the patient some type of harm that the doctor warned about. So days after my trip, my doctor insisted that I see a medical professional in my hometown. You know, ensure nothing happened on the trip. This was like the third time I had this done, so it was a pretty common request I was familiar with. As I was still fuming point this is when I hatched my plan. I knew point I was the only one with control over the rod's proper position. I knew having the rods not properly dialed in for a few days wouldn't do any long term harm point and would only result in a lot of pain to dial it back in afterwards I know me doctor would be furious if anything happened out of the ordinary, his reputation being on the line and such, and I knew no medical professional had checked my rods to confirm their current setting after the trip, so. I popped three pain pills, waited for them to kick in point and unscrewed every single red to the lowest setting possible. Just for reference, after the procedure, they end up setting the starting point for these rods somewhere in the mid-range of their settings. Worst pain of my life. I was wheeled into my local doctor with the adjustment notebook in hand. I kept playing dumb, saying I believed everything was going fine. But my legs just felt awful. And if it was possible he could make sure everything was going okay. He began his inspection point and his face went white when he realized where the screws were set. He asked me what setting they had been on when I left the hospital. And I told him. Again did not look happy. He told me that something must have happened on the trip point. And he would need to properly adjust them back into place and it would hurt like hell. But it needed to be done. The screaming at that appointment was, let's just say, disruptive I didn't even have to fake it, it was genuinely one of the most painful things I have ever experienced in my life. My doctor was furious, as he was up, to date on the entire liaison situation. He excused himself after the readjustment of the rods to a back room. I assume he thought it was out of earshot. He was wrong. He phoned my doctor out of state, and he had a few choice words for him. How could you fucking let this happen? Do you know how dangerous this could have been? If he hadn't got an appointment with me this fast, his fucking bones would have permanently grown in the wrong place, and he would need another surgery to fix this fucking mess. I don't know what kind of fucking operation you have over there, but there is zero chance I will ever refer anyone in my clinic to you. Do you hear me? How hard is it to control your fucking insurance handlers? Fast forward to my operation to remove my rods, back in that specialist hospital out of state. The liaison was not just terminated. Oh no. The liaison got accused of intentionally trying to endanger the life of a patient plus lying to the insurance company plus lying about a doctor's medical assessment for his own benefit. No idea where this last accusation came from. Maybe it was lodged as an additional justification to fire him? I don't quite know all the consequences of his actions. I only could muster up a few details from my doctor. From what my doctor described, the hospital put out a notice to every hospital in the state to not hire this man. Those hospitals apparently also sent out a notice to all the hospitals in their surrounding areas to not hire this man. 
This ended up resulting in a domino effect that barred him from working in almost every hospital in the country. I wanted him fired. I didn't plan on getting him blacklisted. Nevertheless, I was giddy. Especially after my doctor informed me that there was no lasting damage for the mistake he caused. Fast forward about 4 years, and I hear through the grapevine that he ended up having to change professions because of the accusations. Ended up doing some waste management job or something, no idea if it's literal garbage man status, or working in a waste management company in a desk job. Note, there are certain parts of my medical condition I had to leave out to stay anonymous. But it's extremely rare and extremely difficult to treat. Most of my doctors need to walk on eggshells to ensure I get properly treated. One of the main reasons my doctors are so passionate slash concerned about my treatments. Edit 1. I've never received any Reddit awards before. The silver award means a lot. Thanks so much.